Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very interesting question. So this question was asked in EXL Analytics company and one of my subscriber whose name is also Ankit has sent this problem. So the problem is pretty simple but we are going to solve it using two methods you know to have your understanding of different ways of solving this problem. So in this problem we have simple one state, city and population three columns and we have to find in the output for each state which is the highest populated and which is the lowest populated city so for example for Haryana Gurgaon is highest popula populated because population is 300 right and Ambala is lowest so this is how the output is okay so what I have done I have created some more data of multiple states and we will move to SQL server and solve this problem so this is my data here in city population table uh, you can follow along with me I will put the insert and create in the description box so there are two ways of solving it right so for each state we have to find the city right cities can be 10 or 20 right uh, in in this example there are three cities but it doesn't matter our solution will work for the respective number of city uh, in each state right so what we will do in the first solution we will have two more columns at the same granularity. We are not doing group by, but we will do partition by and get the minimum and maximum value of population with each row here, right? For each state and city. So what we will do, we will say max of population, right? And over partition by, partition by state, right? Because for each state, we want to see max and minimum population as max population, right? So this will give me the max population. I'll just show you. I'll just do one minimum as well. So minimum population partition by state because for each state I need again and minimum. We are not going to use any order by here because it doesn't make any sense for us. So if you see the minimum population for Haryana, right? It is, it is 100. So we are getting 100. And this is 300 maximum so 300. So for all three rows, we are getting the same data because we are saying partition by state, right? And give me the maximum. So maximum is coming. And if you give the minimum, minimum is coming. Similarly for Karnataka, if you see maximum is coming as 900 and minimum is coming as 200, right? Now the things are simple, right? We can just compare if the population is equal to max population, right? those city that city will have highest population right if the population is equal to minimum population then that city will be lowest populated city so what we will do we will just create a city here or you can do using a subquery as well and i will say select star from one second select star from city let me take some more space we don't need that much here and we'll say case when case when max population or let's say population case when population is equal to max population right let me just copy paste okay it is not coming because i have given city let me change it to city yeah now intellisense will work then I will take the city name and as highest populated city right and I will just copy paste it case when population is equal to minimum population then city and as lowest populated city right let me run this quickly and show you Okay, so if you see here, if you see here, we are getting, if you look at this Haryana, right? Just look at the last two columns. So in this column, highest populated city, only Gurgaon is there, rest of two are null. Because we are populating city only when the population is equal to max population. Otherwise, and by default, else is null, right? If you don't give any else, it is by default null, right? So if you give it or not give it, it will be the same thing right so only only one column is pop only one row is populated of highest population here again in the lowest populated city only the ambala is populated which has the minimum population other two are none right similarly for other other states you can just check 
Now, last thing we need is we need just one row for each state, right? We don't need all of this. So, for example, we need just state and this, right? So, if I run this again, so if you see, there are three rows still, right? Because we have not reduced the granularity yet. There is no group by used yet. So, what we what we will do? We will say group by state. Right now the granularity will be at a state. Now these three rows will combine and come into one. Now we cannot use sum because it is a where care column, a string column, but we can use max and min. When we use max and min, it will just ignore the null values and give me the good count. So it doesn't matter. I use max, min doesn't matter. Right? I can use anything. Null value, there will be only one not null value, so that will come irrespective of max and min. Right? And if I run it again. I got the required output. So this is highest populated city. This is lowest populated city for Ariana and similarly for other states. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve this with another, another, another solution, right? And let me know which solution you like most, right? So let me just take this again. I'll say select star from city population. Okay. So now what we will do. We will use window function. We will use no window function. We use earlier as well. We will use rank and row number, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to say, give me row number, okay, over partition by partition by state, right? For each state, I need different rank. Order by population. Right in the descending order, and I will say R N descending. Right, I will type one more column, and this time I will say ascending. So if you I don't give anything, it is by default ascending. So let me run this and show you quickly what will happen. So if you see for each state, right, we have two ranks. One is in descending order, and one is ascending order. Now the one in descending order, right, for this the highest population will get rank 1. You see, the highest population is 300 because population descending. So, highest will get rank 1. Similarly, for the lowest populated city, the rank will be 1 because this is in ascending order. So, if the rank is 1, the rank ascending is 1. Right? That means that city is lowest populated city. If the rank descending is 1, then then is highest populated city now the problem is again same the whatever we did previously same thing we have to do right which city as this right let me copy that so that you understand it is the same thing so what i will do is okay now instead of this condition i will say i will say when r and descending equal to 1 then city else null again else is else is not mandatory again if r n ascending is 1 then city else null and then lowest populated city is same group by and same everything right it is the same approach this is a different way of doing it right if i just run this again we have got the same same result okay i hope you like this video this clears your lot of concepts about window functions do like the video and let me know if you have a better solution for it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.